greeting students today we are going to learn about one of india's leading oil company indian oil corporation most of us at least once must have heard the name of the company indian oil corporation let us know this company in a much better way indian oil corporation limited or indian oil is an indian state owned oil and gas corporation with its headquarters in new delhi india It is the world's 88 largest corporation according to the Fortune Global 500 list and the largest public corporation in India when ranked by revenue. Indian oil and its subsidiaries account for a 49% share in the petroleum products market, 31% share in refining capacity and 67% downstream sector pipelines capacity in India. The Indian Oil Group of companies owns and operates 10 of India's 22 refineries with a combined refining capacity of 65.7 million metric tons per year. The president of India owns 78.92% 1.9162 billion shares in the company. Citation needed. In FY 2012 IOCL sold 75.66 million tons of petroleum products and reported a PBT of INR 37.54 billion and the government of India earned an excise duty of INR 232.53 billion and tax of INR 10.68 billion It is one of the seven Maharatna status companies of India apart from Coal India Limited NTPC Limited Oil and Natural Gas Corporation Steel Authority of India Limited Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited and Gas Authority of India Limited Indian Oil operates the largest and the widest network of fuel station in the country numbering about 20575 16350 regular ROs and 4225 Kisan Seva Kendra It has also started auto LPG dispensing station ALDS it supplies indian cooking gas to over 66.8 million households to a network of 5934 indian distributors in addition indian oils research and development center r&d at faridabad supports develops and provides the necessary technology solutions to the operating divisions of the corporation and its customers within the country and abroad Recently Indian Oil Corporation IOC has raised dollar 500 million by selling 10 year dollar denominated bonds its fourth such issue overseas in the last 3 and a half years Indian Oil began operation in 1959 as Indian Oil Company Limited The Indian Oil Corporation was formed in 1964 with the merger of Indian Refineries Limited Indian Oil is the biggest oil producer and marketer. Oil's product range covers petrol, diesel, LPG, auto LPG, aviation, turbine fuel, lubricants, naphtha, bitumen, paraffin, kerosene, etc. Extra premium petrol, extra mild diesel, servo lubricants, Indian LPG cooking gas, auto gas LPG, Indian Oil Aviation are some of its prominent brands. Recently Indian Oil has also introduced a new business line of supplying LNG liquefied natural gas by cryogenic transportation this is called LNG at doorstep Indian gas domestic and industrial gas auto gas automotive natural gas extra premium automotive premium petrol extra mile automotive premium diesel servo lubricants and greases Indian Oil Mauritius Limited, Lanka IOC PLC, Group Company for Retail and Storage Operation in Sri Lanka. It is listed in the Colombo Stock Exchange. It was locked into a bitter subsidy payment dispute with Sri Lanka's government which has since been resolved. IOC Middle East FZE, Chennai Petroleum Corporation Limited, Green Gas Limited, a joint venture with Gas Authority of India Limited for citywide gas distribution networks. Indocat Private Limited with Intercat USA for manufacturing 15000 tons per annum of FCC fluidicide catalytic cracking catalyst and additives in India Indian Oil CREDA Biofuels Limited a joint venture with Chhattisgarh government for production and marketing of biofuels Numerous exploration and production ventures with Oil India Limited, Oil and Natural Gas Corporation, 
India Synthetic Rubber Limited, a joint venture between IOCL, Taiwan Synthetic Rubber Corporation, Taiwan, and Meru Beni, Japan, Petronas Malaysia Limited. IOC has started a new venture, the Jubilee Retail Outlet. Hardly 30 minutes drive from Kochi towards Trishur through Kerala's arterial NH47, we can see a powerful echo movement is getting unfolded in Indian Oil's permanent COCO, which is company-owned, company-operated establishment at Angamali. Spread over 3.4 acres of land, this flagship echo retail outlet under Kochi's divisional office has taken a number of initiatives to reduce the carbon footprints. This COCO is the highest selling outlet in Kerala. This petrol station, which is functioning throughout day and night, is up to par, being modern and beautiful. We consider every customer as our valuable guest and meet their needs and requirements. Our Cochin Divisional Office has started an information center at this permanent COCO to disseminate information for our customers about our tourist destinations, religious and historical places throughout Kerala. Our customer care manager interacts with customers to satisfy inquiries. For motorists, our outlet is packed with amenities, like two excellent eateries, one of which is run by the US pizza chain, and we also have continental and South Indian dishes. The impeccably maintained pay and use toilet complex is a great comfort for the travelers. For our customers, as a part of the rest and refreshments, the IOC Kochi Division has provided to have a journey through a beautiful world, Butterfly Park. Described as the world's first butterfly park in a petrol station by the Chief Conservator of Forest, the park, occupying an area of over 1,250 square meters, is a veritable home to a range of butterflies of different species. The technical assistance for establishing the park was given by Kerala Forest Research Institute. Indian Oil is the highest ranked Indian company in the Fortune Global 500, listing at the 83 position in 2012. It is also the 18th largest petroleum company in the world and the number one petroleum trading company among the national oil companies in the Asia-Pacific region. IOCL was featured on the 2011 Forbes Global 2000 at position 243. It is the fifth most valued brand in India according to an annual survey conducted by Brand Finance and the Economic Times in 2010. Extra Power Fleet card program is aimed at large fleet operators. Currently, it has 1 million customer base. Extra Reward is a recently launched loyalty program for retail customers where customers can earn reward points on their purchases. Indian Oil Corporation Limited, by virtue of being the largest public sector oil company, has borne the largest share of subsidy burden due to the government restrictions on pricing of common fuels like diesel oil, kerosene and LPG. The current formula of making the marketing company share one by third of the subsidy burden, the upstream and the government share the rest equally, forces the corporation to cross-subsidize price regulated fuels with other fuels that are not regulated like gasoline fuel oil, aviation turbine fuel and lubricants. This has rendered the corporation's fuel and lubricant segments uncompetitive with respect to private marketers who are delving into the open price fuel lubricants market in an aggressive way.
The subsidy burden, which went over rupees 300 billion in 2011, has thereby handicapped the public sector oil companies as a whole and Indian oil in particular by virtue of its large share of the energy market. Indian oil has tried to come out of the disadvantageous position it finds itself vis vis the private companies like Total Oil India Limited and Reliance Industries by taking the fight to newer sectors where private players are dominant like petrochemicals and alternative fuels. Petrochemicals is Indian oil's most profitable revenue division currently and massive investment in the recent years have been made in petrochemical complexes at Panipat refinery and the upcoming Paradeep refinery. Despite substantial well-directed efforts, the corporation still faces significant challenges in maintaining its current dominance once the imminent free pricing is introduced. Although the corporation's vast infrastructure shall also play to its advantage in such a scenario. So students, we got to know about the various aspects of Indian Oil Corporation. We went through the company's history to its present market scenario. Hope you must have got useful information about the company. Have a nice day.